Blah. Yes. Sorry. How you doing? It's election day. February 7th here in Minnesota is election day. I got a caucus. I got a caucus at 7, but right now it's 5.41 p.m. It's 22. It's a brisk 22. It's been in the 20s all day, and it's probably going to get below the 20s as the night goes on because it's just getting colder and colder. No snow, just cold. Hopefully not too windy either. But caucus, yeah. In a way, it's a relief. It'll be the end of one phase. Again, all sorts of phone calls today. I got a voice message from Rick Santorum. Not happening, buddy. Ron Paul called but didn't leave a message. I now know Ron Paul's number, so I just ignore them. They really want to make sure I show up. And I got an email last night, once again, begging me to stand as a delegate, which I guess I'm going to have to do because God knows there's nobody else that can do it. Mm. Here's to you. So, so I can be identified. I did wear the Ron Paul button that I was given at the state fair. I always have the flag pin on, but just extra special today. In fact, this is the rugby shirt. If you go to Google+, Plus, this is the one that uh, I'm wearing in my avatar pick. And I believe I'm wearing it with my pipe cleaner red ribbon, which is hanging up on the old bookcase back there right now. Hey, look, there's a picture of my CEO, Enrique Salem. Hey, Enrique, what's up? Keep you from asking. Um, was there anything I was supposed to answer? I keep forgetting to say, in, in the barrage of phone calls I've gotten, I did get into a telephone town hall with uh, Newt Gingrich on Saturday, by which I mean I left the speakerphone on while I went around and went about my business doing other things, but it wasn't really terribly educational other than the, well, I don't want to say dumbasses, but the idiots who were asking questions were pretty much the kind of stereotypical people that you would expect to be asking questions at a new Gingrich Town Hall meeting. So, no matter what happens, and who ends up uh, getting put up for the big election in November, uh, it's not going to matter because we're all idiots and we deserve what we get, and... So wonder we vote at all. Well, most of us don't. So, on that uh, depressing note, I really should have run for president. I said I was going to run for president the day I turned 35, and then I didn't. And it was kind of okay, because I had Ron Paul to vote for, and I, and I have Ron Paul to vote for again today. Actually, I had Ron Paul to vote for. He didn't make it. McCain did. And I didn't want to vote for him. Who did I vote for? Uh, Bob Barr ran as a libertarian then, right? So, I wasted my vote. But it wasn't my fault. So I voted for Bob Barr. Before that, it was uh, Bad Narek. And it was uh, Harry Brown a couple times. I think that's every presidential election I've been able to vote in. You're not supposed to say who you voted for. It's a secret. But, you know, pretty much figure it out. If I vote for the libertarian guy, you can connect the dots yourself. But anyway, did you see that? I spilled a uh, Pepsi Max right there. Here's a napkin. So it was a big day for me yesterday. I crossed 500 Twitter followers. Something I thought would never happen. Unless I became one of those people that followed thousands of people, hoping that some percentage of them would follow back, which just ends up with a bunch of people that are unhappy and not paying attention to their timelines. But I have to give a thanks to... Uh, David Shoemaker, a.k.a. The Masked Man, for once again finding some magical way to mention me in a way that caused dozens of people to go, oh, I remember that guy. I want to follow him. And it hadn't actually had that much effect the past couple of times that we've been talking, so I don't know what it was about this one, but the word Godfather was used, and I don't know. But, but I got at least, what, 40 followers last night? 50? 20? Some number that was large enough to get me really excited. Now I'm afraid he may be watching this video. So if he is, uh, once again, one more thanks. Checks in the mail. And uh, the next time I'm out to Brooklyn, we should probably hang for an hour or two. 
the stories that I could tell, but won't do here because people might be interested in it or whatever. Looks dark in here, doesn't it? I don't want to play with the brightness again because I end up doing that way too much, but I've noticed that the brighter it gets, the more um, disk space it ends up taking up. Maybe it's a contrast thing. I don't know. Yesterday's video was like 350 megs. It took forever to load, and for some reason I sat here watching the little bar go to 100%. And I think it was also because I wore a white t-shirt. For some reason I think white equates to more disk space than black. So this is kind of a dark shirt. You can't actually tell. There are other colors here. This is kind of a green. Not on this camera. But anyway, we'll see how big that file ends up. And I've already wasted six minutes. So let me see if there was something I was supposed to talk about on the W. I know there were some responses. If you want to get on the W, all the kids are doing it. There's a link to it on crz.net for your convenience. Let's see. Something about Eli, I don't care. Something about Eli. Ugh, stop talking about the Giants. All right. More about the Juicy Lucy. It's not that I'm actively trying to not have the Juicy Lucy. It's that I just haven't really been in... I don't go out to eat all that much to begin with. And when I do, it tends to be more like a sushi place or some place that doesn't have burgers with cheese injected in them. So... It's just purely by accident that I haven't had one yet. Uh, I can't think of when I'm going to either. I kind of wish there was a Dairy Queen between here and my caucus, but there isn't. I'm so hungry. I don't know why I skipped lunch. I always skip lunch, it seems, unless I got actually sit down and microwave one of those things or have a noodles or... Mm. Caffeine will alleviate my hunger. Or it'll keep me awake through the caucus. We'll see. There was a comment on Facebook. Yesterday I talked about yesterday being, yesterday the day after the Super Bowl, being possibly the most unproductive day of the year. I do believe that. All my conference calls and all my meetings were canceled or postponed. And I don't believe that's a coincidence. A lot of zombies in this office yesterday. I was probably one of them. But Cheryl who is on Facebook solely to rat out her husband, says that uh, it's not the most unproductive day when the night before you passed out at 8.30 p.m. and are up at 9. Rich should drink 10 beers every night. On second thought, well, I was probably close to 10 beers. No, I wasn't even close to 10 beers. But some of them were very potent and were had the power of many beers in a concentrated shot. My problem is that after we left the party, we went to go to Starioki and ended up staying up till just about closing time. So it was quarter to two by the time we get out. For those of you who care, my Starioki selections were... I don't remember now. That's terrible. I know I did Like a Prayer because I made a reference to Madonna on Facebook to let you know I did Like a Prayer. I did... Mm, oh, yeah, I did Naked Eyes. Always something there to remind me. And I did Thompson Twins. Lay Your Hands on Me. And that was the bookends for Like a Prayer, which turns out, while I can sing that high, I can only do it for about a verse and a half, and then my throat starts hurting, and I have to give up. But, you know, you let the choir come in and take over, you can get through Like a Prayer. I will not do Like a Prayer right now. Anyway, I'm not happy about missing the other Timberwolves-Kings game. I'm hoping the caucus will go quickly. It did not four years ago. I'm hoping there will be less people, so it will go quickly. And then I maybe I'll get to see the second half. Although, without Kevin Love, that's a strike against going. But I'm kind of hoping they'll win. I'm kind of over the Kings, I think, finally. It doesn't help that some of the Kings fans on Twitter are just really awful about Oh, uh, my team's going to leave. Oh, I hate Seattle for making the play. And just shut up. I don't care. Anyway, that's all I got. But that's enough, because we're almost 10 minutes into this thing. And you've wasted another 10 minutes with me, and I thank you, and I am baffled as to why. But if you have any feedback from me, you know I thrive off your feedback. Hit me on the Facebook, on the Twitter, on the Google+, Plus, on the W, and I'll see you tomorrow, I hope.